Hey guys, it's your girl Dee Dee and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So listen, I'm just giving my two cents. So we always have this discussion about women choosing the wrong guys. I think there is some truth to it. I think a lot of women, and I've seen it personally, how women choose certain men and vice versa. There are certain men who choose certain women who are attracted to certain women who are toxic and are not good in relationships. So it goes both ways in my opinion, but I've seen for sure a lot of women will pass up a guy who's seemingly a good guy, a guy who has his head on straight, has a decent job, looks pretty decent, you know, seems to be an all around decent dude. She won't give him a chance because she's looking for that it factor. It doesn't even matter how much money he makes. It's really not about the money. It's, it's about connection. It's about a vibe. It's about how attracted she is to him. So this is why when I hear women say, oh, a man has to have six figures or more and six pack abs and he has to have all these things. It's BS in my opinion for some women because a lot of women pass up dudes who have good jobs, make good money, but they don't feel that there's a connection. They don't feel that there's any attraction there even though he might be a good pick. And there are women who go for the guys who they are physically attracted to, the guys who look the way they want them to look, um, and a lot of times he don't have a job at all. So, you know, when, when women say, oh, he got to have all this, it's a, it's a lot of BS. And I think everybody's, you know, familiar with that. Now we all know if a woman is attracted to you and y'all have a connection or, you know, are y'all vibing, then she doesn't care about all of the rest. If she doesn't care about a job and all of that. And this is why you have so many women who are making babies with these guys, because these are the guys that they're attracted to. And then they're complaining when these guys aren't taking care of those kids or they're not handling their responsibilities or these men are not taking them seriously for serious committed relationships because that's the men that they would like to take them seriously. That's the men that they would like to, you know, be in their lives and even possibly marry because that's the type of guys that most women are attracted to. But see, when you have a guy who is, you know, not, you know, he doesn't have swag or whatever it is a lot of these women are looking for, and he, but he seems lame and, he's kind of boring and what they would consider corny. These are not the type of men that a lot of women are attracted to. So they pass on these guys, but then complain as they get older that they can't find any good men. And it's just mind boggling to me. Cause it's like, you know, you, when you're younger, you're focused on the wrong things. And this is why a lot of women pick the wrong guys. Women pick men based off how tall they are. Uh, if they bow legged, uh, he got a certain kind of smile or if his haircut is, if his hair is cut, um, if he doesn't have a haircut and he's, he's not dressed the way you want him to dress, they will literally pass up on these guys. And you don't know the type of guy that guys that they are. You're just going off of what you see initially and you're judging them based on that. And so what you do is you go pick the guy who got his, you know, fade done up right. He wearing the jeans that you like. He's tall like you like. He walk like you like. You know what I'm saying? He got all the qualities that you like, which in my opinion are very superficial. But, you know, a lot of women say, oh, well, I have to be attracted to him. And that's your type. That's what you're attracted to. So that's what you go after. And when we get to the nitty gritty of what the guy is really about, he has no redeeming character characteristics or his character is off. He doesn't care about you like that. You a good time, but you're not somebody that he really want to be with. And he got three or four more like you. You want Tupac in a suit. That's the dilemma that we're facing. I guarantee you, if we could have a hooky reincarnated and turn into a, a marriage minded, committed man, but he looks like have all those redeeming characteristics that a lot of these women like, which are, are just basically a look you know, certain things that shouldn't even matter. But if he has that and he's going to go out and work hard and take care of all the bills and take care of you and be at home with you and only you, oh, they would be in heaven. That would be the perfect mixture. But we don't live in a perfect world. So you're never going to find something that's going to be perfect according to your standards. I always say this, you know, we, we are living in an imperfect society with imperfect people. We don't have all the answers. We don't know everything. And I, sometimes I think, I say life is, is like a trick. It's like a game in a sense, because the way it's set up is if you're not prepared for it, it's almost in a sense set up for you to fail. Because if you don't, if you don't really pay attention and really, you know, figure it out, this is why you have a lot of relationships that are ending and a lot of women leaving them because they're not prepared. They're not, they don't know what success looks like when it comes to relationships. They don't know what a good man even looks like. When they have one staring them in the face, they don't even know what to do with him because they're not used to that. They were never taught what a man is supposed to do. You know a man's supposed to spend money on you and provide for you, but that's it. 
And on top of that, you never were, you were never taught what a wife and what a woman is supposed to contribute to a man, a household, a relationship, a family. So we're, you know, if you don't have that information and you're not trying to get it, then you're going to just be lost in the sauce, baby. And you're never going to find, you know, what you're really looking for. You have a lot of women who say they want husbands. They would love to be married. They would love to have that experience. And a lot of them will never ever experience that because it's not a, it's just about a look. There's more to a marriage than just a look. It takes work. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of women who don't want to put in the work. Bottom line, I think a lot of women do choose wrong. And there are men who choose wrong as well. But, but you know... There are some men from what I've seen who who will acknowledge it. Yeah, I chose wrong. I acknowledge that they accept it and they try to do better. But what I what I've also seen is a lot of women don't like accountability. When Kevin Samuel said accountability was like kryptonite, he he wasn't lying because it's true. A lot of our women are in denial. They don't want to accept the fact that they chose that they chose wrong because they want to have somebody to continuously blame. And as long as you're doing that and you're not holding yourself accountable, you can't move forward. That's the part that they don't understand. You're not going to grow and elevate if you're constantly in denial. That's, I mean, that's just what it is. Grow. You have to acknowledge your, your flaws, your faults and fix them or work on them. Do things to better your outcomes. Because if you don't even acknowledge it or you're not aware of it, you're going to continue to make those same mistakes over and over and over again and constantly blame somebody else. And we got to stop with the blame game. We got to stop with it. If men are being held accountable and we, and men can acknowledge that, Hey, yeah, they just screwed up some situations but they try to do better than women have to do the same. But a lot, a lot of our women are in deep, deep, deep denial. Like they don't even want to acknowledge none of it. It's all somebody else's fault. And as adults, you can't keep constantly blaming the same way. You can't keep constantly blaming your childhood, your mothers, your fathers for the things that they did or didn't do. At some point you have to take ownership of your life and accountability and move on and do things to better yourself without them because they're not going to come and, and fix your issues, you're responsible for fixing your issues. You know what I'm saying? So bottom line is, I do think women attract the wrong guy. They attract all different types of men, but they choose the ones that suit their superficial wants, I would say. They don't pick guys based on the things that is that they that's needed and the guy that would be beneficial to their futures or somebody that they could build with, they pick guys who look good to them right now. So we have to do better. You gotta start looking at a person for what they offer and not only that but somebody that you can work with and build together as opposed to oh he cute oh he fine oh yeah oh yeah so i want to go sleep with him and sleep with him and then that's it and there's no future in that there's no future in that men pick the wrong women sometimes and women definitely pick the wrong men but then women are the ones who are always vocal about it and complaining and then put all men into that category because the ones that you picked did not work out and that's something we got to change we got to stop doing that just accept that you chose the wrong guys and those particular guys were the problem, but not all men are that way. Just the ones that you pick. So listen, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all know what it is. And I will check you guys in the next one. Bye.